India's first AI teacher is in front of the world. And I have with me the two people who are associated with the development of the AI teacher, Mr. Sham Babu and Mr. Hari Sagar. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, Naya. So how excited you are. You have brought the AI teacher to the world and it is a sensation. Sham, how do you see it? Uh, it is, we can say like it is gone out of our hands. We haven't, we haven't thought about how this is going to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. It is like a, for, for us, it is like a project, basically. Like it's our project. We want to take it to the world, but it is not uh, how we have planned. Because like we mm -hmm. want some place to uh, make it work. And the school is the best for it, right? The teachers are there in the schools. And we want to be there. It need to be there in the school more than it need to be with us. So we got a chance. Uh, and we take it forward, this project to the school. And it came this way. Okay. So first thing, what inspired you to create Iris, the AI teacher? teacher basically, it is a software. We call it a soul. So it is a name we use before, before Iris. Okay. And the soul is something which is there in our laptops for, for quite some time. And it, she performed well. Uh, and uh, we thought that we are a technology people and we focus more on the hardware. Room. Okay. So why should we, why can't we take it to the hardware? Hardware in the sense for a teacher, I know robot is needed, right? And uh, we make robots, we made a different kind of robot, but not this big, it can be kept in our hands. Okay, so we thought that why can't we make a robot? And, uh, uh, but uh, thinking about making a ro robot, again, uh, the problem is like, uh, we want to make it as a teacher, right? A robot should be a, something which can be used for the school and it should be affordable. And as well, like, we want to, we don't want to put in a single school. We want to bring it to the so entire world the entire our project, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, so that we want to make it minimalistic and also the affordable. And uh, one more thing I want to say is like, this is like a, a, a human baby. Our teacher is like, like a human baby and uh, interacting, uh, uh, dealing with this, uh, I guess, it will learn a lot from the students, mm -hmm. on, from course. the people who are communicating with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will develop to the stage like, like how we humans involved, right? Like as a baby, we don't have anything to say or any thought process, right? And uh, over a period of time, we develop things, how to deal with the students, how how to uh, talk things, right? How, what should we do, uh, what should not we do, right? And uh, these things, I is also relearned from the uh, previous conversation. And all. Okay. For that reason, we put into the school. Now okay. it is learning. It is not the Iris we, uh, with us before. Okay. okay. She has learned. Okay. Okay, so every school will be different. So Iris, if you put into a different school, she will be like a different teacher. Great. So we'll come to the technical part of Iris, how the development was done, what is generative AI and all that stuff. But before that, I want to understand that building something like this, developing this particular product and taking it to the world. Sagar, you were a very important part of taking it to the world and bringing it to the school. How did you manage to get this AI teacher to the school? Yeah, like me, me and Sham, we were always like thinking about uh, like the possibility of AI in school, just like uh, he mentioned uh, uh, while it is in the software stage itself. And we were also uh, discussing the potential of uh, like when we give it a human form, like how it can evolve and how uh, people uh, will like it. And uh, that that thing was all, always, always in my mind. And like when when i was discussing with the management of that uh, kt city school like i i really had to appreciate that visionary people uh, in the school also like i have pitched it in like multiple places uh, about this project and uh, that right visionaries uh, will only pick it up uh, i think things went well like the the principal were aligned uh, the management uh, were aligned like we dated like uh, two two or three meetings we had done like in all the meetings went well and like then then it it, it was all up to sham uh, then mm. uh, it was it was like a uh, dream come true like when we uh, when when that idea in our r and d is getting a shape like uh, it it is it was a really like a dream come true and yes. Uh, yes. then uh, once once uh, it it got approved and uh, like we kick started all the all the uh, material uh, procurement and everything uh, and boosted the things in in r and d like 
i think sham worked like day, day and night and like I, i was also also there like seeing seeing his effort uh through through the night also like i, I think he barely slept like 3 to 4 hours when when the timelines for the launch were near mm-hmm. so it was like a hats off dream. to yes hats off to both of you of course the hard work paid i want to understand the funding part as well how much funding was needed to develop this particular uh, ai teacher and to bring it to the world see this uh, funding funding in the perspective the funding for iris if you if you uh, like if there is some uh, 15 lakh also like we can we can develop a, a version of iris so the okay. funding is dependent on the client actually like how how intelligent uh, it had to be like what of sensors we had to uh, mm-hmm. incorporate in, in in its uh, uh, bodies like we so, uh selected all the top notch uh, materials like uh like sham was also very particular in in that like once we give a product like it had to uh it it is going into the school environment there there might be chances that the school students might use it so roughly so mm. this common get get damaged uh, due to that so uh sham uh the, if you can explain us the in in layman language basically not very technical the process of developing and programming iris i mean it is able to understand and answer the questions the students questions also give explanations and it is working in three different languages yeah uh, basically yeah you yeah, have so told like it it works on three different languages uh it has an ability to identify the language and talk to that particular talk to them particular language but mm-hmm. the school is more specific on uh, the language want to maybe uh, you know right so we prefer english more than any any other language mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. they want to be they told like asha i don't do this because if you talk, if you enable the malayalam or if you enable any other languages the school the student they will only talk on that particular language and it will only answer in that particular language so iris has an ability to identify the language and talk on that particular language that is something oh. it is there mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, the working part uh, you asked uh, like uh, like the conversion right we need to spoke we speak and it need to be converted into the text and the text will be processed and uh, with the generative ai we are using the algorithm we are using and also it is trained with a model right uh, as to work as a teacher right it need to be trained in a different way it is not like a normal chat gpt Mm. Uh, but uh, you can say uh, you can compare with it like the kind of answer we are getting is not like for the teachers right and we made a lot of uh, tweaking uh, and uh, in the code and everything and we trained a lot of models uh, a lot a lot of data okay and uh, more than uh, it, uh, mm. it it has an ability uh, to like uh, give shake hands and all those things sensors, so it, how many sensors are there in the ai teacher it is like uh, eight uh, nine sensors yeah. nine eight to sensors nine sensors are what are these sensors yeah. all about sensors are basically like uh, to find the human uh, uh, to sense the uh, the temperature maybe in the room right? so it is like a different one uh, maybe mm-hmm. uh, like uh, uh, the sensing the all the voltage the technical things how it is working fine or any fault is detected maybe it, it also is available with some gas sensors also like uh, it oh. knows if there's a pollution and all in the room it will also alert the students like this place is not good your uh, to teach right and there is oh. a lot of dust in this place so it knows uh, it like that kind of uh, sensors we have added to it. and what are the major aspects that you took forward uh, sagar when you went to people uh, pitching this idea of you know incorporating ai teacher in schools and in different projects what were the few mm-hmm. three things say that you uh, you consider one perspective which were in our mind like we need to keep the budget of iris in a, it should be in a position which is accessible to all school in india uh, every kid uh, in this corner uh, every kid in in our country had to uh, know what is this and what this technology is capable of like and to access them uh, like and to understand the like the possibilities of ai is to see that in daily life and they are mm-hmm. going to see that in the school itself in the form mm-hmm. of their teacher so i think okay. that is like the, our our like uh, our vision coming true uh, like in perspective of bringing this technology to all the schools in india um, the look of the mannequin the ai teacher the sari the binti the very indian look and the name iris they don't complement each other that's what i felt when i learned 
for the for the first time about it sagar what was it all about how did you planned on the design and the name yeah we, we can like the the mannequin the mannequin uh, look was uh, like from from sham only like look, sari look uh, is uh, is is again like it is uh, it is uh, in a state in kerala it's, it's a uh, like a uh, it is introduced in kerala and we we want that ethnic uh, look and the name had to be catchy to europe as well if yeah. if we look uh, look at a uh, malayali name see even even first we uh, we uh, looked at the possibility of a malayali name we yeah. might be uh, mm-hmm. like uh competing uh this product in uh, like european markets and that that then we had to like uh, put forward think forward of a name. universal name that that is catchy yes. to everybody to all universal. yeah and and a name that all the students uh, in the school also had to pronounce yes. uh shyam you were talking about that this ai teacher will be like you know adapting to the environment if we put it in different school it will adapt to their environment and the teachers and the students around that so how does iris adapt to the teaching style based on the individual learning pro- pro- performances and of course the progress of each student so how iris is doing that iris iris told everything from the beginning of how when the first time uh, she turned on right from the that beginning she will uh, store everything everything regarding maybe the temperature of the room uh, or change right every change in the conversation everything she will uh, record it and uh, those will be da- the data right those are the data and it is again used for her training again so she is self trained okay. okay so you so will be needed kind of to process that data no, for no. us no. no 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 okay no she is training us okay, okay. she is training us and uh, there one thing we have done is like one like we have put the some parameters there so we can't uh, we can train uh, somebody in a good way in a bad way right so uh, so we have had put some uh, parameters to uh, to block all the uh, inappropriate content right in that uh, mm. kind that kind of data right so that is what we have done in the data right? so she will and, not uh, record she will works. not record any inappropriate data or inappropriate it language or... in, in, it will be there it will be there in our database but uh, it will not come out because okay. that will she will not a, use that time. that information or yeah. that kind of gesture she will not use it so again with the yeah, students yeah mm-hmm. she will not use it yeah. okay and in future do we do you see that iris will be assessing students uh, taking exams or you know taking quizzes or something for with the students and doing like that actually uh, actually the next version uh, you can you can expect uh, uh these these perspectives i i risk can uh, do subject revisions like okay. if you want to conduct a uh, quiz uh, about uh, uh, different fruits for lower grade students or if you want to do a a, a, a revision about organic chemistry i risk can do that uh, mm-hmm. so the update uh, will be we will be releasing that update like within 6 uh, months very nice and, and how many more copies of iris or versions of iris we will see uh, soon in different schools think i'm i'm getting at the moment i am getting like uh, uh, more than 50 enquiries of uh, iris a day and all of us all of them are coming from like every uh, corner of the country and that is what uh, like make making us happy like uh, so the news about uh, iris are reached uh, like every corner of the country say the technology that you people have developed there must be some more challenges on your way challenges, reaching here i will say like uh, it is working in something working in the school is a different environment right it's not like our home so that's mm-hmm. something first there because like you know right the one thing is like it will be too noisy too noisy mm-hmm. atmosphere right so the school will be always all the time you know so iris fit want to identify some questions or queries the students they want to be silent right we can't make the students silent to ask a question so mm. this audio processing is something is a challenge for us uh, and still we are improving that side uh, uh, that was the biggest challenge up to this okay. point right <laughs> and other uh, other than this like uh, uh, this iris right so now it has no cameras uh, nothing so iris don't know how how it is the, the environment right where she is how she is going right and uh, that is something we will be solving in the next generation so she can see the students like uh, i'll tell you one uh, something like uh, 
now a person like a third year or five year or the five year five year five fifth standard student standing in front of IRS and ask a question she will answer some way right and if a uh, an aged uh, mature person ask a question she will again see say in that kind of way like the same thing the same pattern how, how she, she will identify who she now she can't identify the person right because like she don't know who is the person standing a boy or mm-hmm. girl or what age she has she or she has uh, the next version that like, that we are working on uh, she she knows uh, who standing in front right uh, and uh, how to answer the queries so the answer will be different for everybody that's what i'm okay. saying so all the best to both of you and see you soon with another version of ai teacher iris and we will talk more about her very soon thank you so much for all your time thank you neha Thank you.